So, apologies about the wind, but uh, there's nothing I can do about that really. Today I've just been doing some training and uh, got my Tuatai M2 saw out and my Tuatai work axe. I had the saw about two years and it's been a really, really good training tool. It's a very aggressive saw, cuts very fast. You can see the stripes going through the wood, but it's a hell of a lot of work to push the saw. It's one of the hardest things you'll do in your life. There's two kinds of saw to a die producers. There's peg and maker saws, which I'll put up a picture of now. And there's M2 saws. The M2 saws are more robust. The peg and makers are only for racing. And if you use them in the wrong kind of wood, they'll damage really badly. The M2 saws are also easier to use. You still need good technique, but uh, it's a much easier saw. It doesn't jam up as badly or as often. When you're sawing, you have to keep the saw as flat as you can and also try not to bend it because as soon as you don't keep it flat and uh, straight, it just jams up and it really breaks up your rhythm. So it does take a bit of practice to use. If you're looking at getting into timber sports and training for that, I'd recommend the six foot M tooth. Um, but I think it's a bit too bulky and unwieldy to use for work with one person. With two handles on it, it's much more easy to use because you're only pulling then and it gives you a bit of a time to breathe in between strokes. Whereas when you're single bucking, uh, it's just from start to finish hellish. If you're going to get the saw just for work, if you don't want to use a chainsaw for firewood for some reason, or you just enjoy that sort of thing, I'd get the four foot saw. Unless you've got a really keen partner who will uh, help you out on the handle. So now onto my axe. This is a Tuatai Kingi work axe. I don't produce these anymore. Um, I'm not sure why, but it seems all their Kingi models have uh, got ground out bevels well, like polished, which just still has the forge markings on it. So it's quite cool and unique. It's not saying you can get anymore, but uh, in function and purpose, it's just uh, the same as our work axes. Really nice handles on them and uh, just excellent geometry. They work best in softwoods, I've found. They've got a nice wide edge and uh, a good center line, they don't stick and they really throw those chips out, so they're the best axe for large softwoods but uh, and for a lot of work I don't think they're that great. I mean it's a very very high quality tool and I can't fault to a tie, it's just more the application. It's a, it's a Basically a racing axe with a working grind on it, like a 20 degree chisel. But uh, I think for the majority of axe work in the forest, you're much better off with a two pounder with a, about the same length of handle really, but uh, just a lighter head's far more useful and a four inch bit rather than a six inch, I think six, seven inches on these. Really the main reason why I say that is uh, a lot of the axe work you do in the forest is this size, about maybe a bit smaller, a bit bigger. But uh, the problem when you're using a too big of axe on this kind of wood is often you're trying to get the wood in the bottom because you'll need to break the bottom wood to cut through the log. And uh, it's very hard to do without slapping your toe into the gravel. So the toes this part you can drag that in the gravel really easy. So on the smaller stuff, especially you're cutting with this part of the ax and that leaves more wood at the bottom. So I found it to be a good ax for cutting very large wood, particularly softer woods. But uh, for most of forest work, it's too big and too unwieldy. In contrast, when you have a light, smaller ax like this, see, I can hit that bottom wood and I've got clearance to use the heel. When you cut with the heel of the ax, it cuts much better. So 
the Tuatai size of axe kind of gets in the way. No fault with Tuatai, it's just, you know, be aware that uh, it's not uh, the best axe for smaller woods. It's a good companion if you've already got a small axe and you want something a bit bigger. So, after two years of using these tools, I'm super impressed with Tuatai. The quality is phenomenal. You absolutely cannot find a fault with the products they put out. Um, when you see them in person, you realise that they're worth every single dollar, even though they are expensive. But uh, really, the quality you get, comparatively to some other companies who charge a lot, there's no, uh, no comparison. Just really, really high quality. If you're into timber sports or want to train for timber sports or even just uh, enjoy watching it and want to have a go in your backyard or whatever, um, I can't recommend too tie enough. You can obviously get uh, the China heads as well they sell if you want a bit of a cheaper axe. Um, but the work axe is really, really nice. And the saws are just uh, really awesome too. Also want to mention that uh, I have had several orders from Tuatai now and every single thing has been fantastic and also their customer service has been second to none. Uh, they're really really fast to answer your emails, happy to give you advice and answer your questions and that sort of thing and uh, you know they're super good at giving you updates on how your order is going so just a all-round impressive company you can't fault them on anything.